about the World Economic Forum and the New World Territory Laws. They want to keep us all in the circus. The circus of Labour, Tory, Lib Dem, all that utter rubbish. They're all the same, they're all against us. We have won. We will defeat the Today we've been here as part of the auction protest against their 15 minute city smart city plan which of course is part of all the zoning plans going on around the country. So we're here to unite all the fight backs against all types of zoning. Low traffic neighbourhoods, 15 minute cities, ultra low emission zones, clean air zones, all of them. They all have the same aim to control you, to cost you and to con you into believing in the man-made climate change story which is used as the backstory for them. But that story is used for many other things. So we have to break that story as well as break the implementation of these things themselves. Okay, thank you. What would you say the main barriers are to freedom or democracy in the UK today? The main barriers are people complying to nonsense coming from on high, which can be overcome. And I think we can win these zones. There's opposition in Oxford, which is huge, but if people comply to any rules they put out, then the other side will win. So you have to not comply to the rules. That means driving at will, without paying any fine. Now in London and in Birmingham, people have been not paying. In Birmingham, the council have given up with their clean air zone because people are not paying. In London, one third of people already are not paying the ULEDs. I myself have run up a bill of 44 thousand pounds for not paying the charges on top of the charges for not paying the charges and so it goes on. <laughs> we think we can win because of the action from below 11 boroughs out of London are saying they're opposing the plans and five of them are going to take Sadiq Khan to court and two of them are refusing to put up the cameras. We don't want any of the cameras and we should take down the cameras, physically take down the camera because they are illegal things. Take down the cameras, you refuse to comply, drive at will and pay nothing and the courts will not be able to cope. Mac from Brum earlier who suggested that paintballing cameras out. Well, paintballs, yeah, you want to lick out the infrastructure, you want to lick the cameras, yeah? Anything that, that takes them down or puts them out of action, yes, yes, Okay. definitely. Well, what would you say are the main failings of our current government are? Main failings are complying with the new world tyranny. But the Labour and Tory are just the same. We want to get out of the circus. It's a waste of space to talk about is Labour going to be better than the Tories yeah. or whatever. They are doing the same thing. You could swap round the two leaders, it would make no difference. They are just doing what the New World Order tell them. In fact, Starmer said so. He said he'd prefer to be in Davos than in Westminster. Can you believe it? He meant politically, it, Davos was more important than Westminster. That means he's ruled by somebody else, doesn't it? Yeah. Keir Starmer recently said that he'd prefer to sit next to Piers Morgan than Jeremy Corbyn, your brother. How do you feel about that? Uh, I'm not surprised, but I did warn my brother about Starmer right at the start. I said, look, he's a snake. Of course, you know, he got the politics of the Labour Party and he's an expert on Europe and all that stuff. But, you know, frankly, Jeremy gave up a lot of his friends in order to carry on and do what he thought was needed to be done. When Ken Lim Stone was chucked out of the party, Jeremy should have stood beside him. I was supporting Jeremy all my life until the last two years. I support him in everything he's done, but right now he's not stepping up to support people on this stuff, unfortunately. Well, I think he's been misled, and he was lied to about many things. He was tricked about uh, the anti-Semitism stuff. Yeah. That's a complete nonsense. He's not anti-Semitic in any way. And the Brexit thing, he's surrounded by idiots who persuaded him to do a U-turn on Brexit. And that was the end, really because it was a working class statement. We don't want to be in the European Union. And we're now half withdrawn from it, but not fully withdrawn from it. How do you think today went? Turnout was very good. Getting a lot of people from different around the country was very good. And it's nice to have these national demos in other towns sometimes, other than London, and I think that's a big, big uh, step forward. And it will follow on. There will be a lot more of do these protests. Do you ever worry that protests like today were more of a controlled burn rather than kicking it to the man? The powers that be will always try and control everything we do. You see, I think the rallies themselves also unite people on things to do more and practical local things, you see. So there's now groups in every part of the country which are learning from each other. You're not going to bring the government down with one demo. Communities have got to work together, I suppose. Completely, yes, yes. And we have to have a united front 
between all the different subgroups and I'm working with others and a number of us are working together to get a united front of common demands which we would insist that anyone who's standing for whatever party, obviously the main parties won't be interested, but to include basic things like end all the jab programs. Well, the major parties won't support that. Men are men and women are women. Well, basic stuff, but the main parties won't support that. You know, so we've got to have those basic principles. Anyone support standing, whatever party or independent individuals, we would only support them if they support this list. So it's not a party list, it's just a united front of all many parties and people. Come to stopnewnormal.net to find out more or let the UK live. Dot com, which is our political party. Yes. If you had something to tell the streets or just the streets. people of the UK, this it's resist, resist defy, defy, do not comply. So you're called short for change. Yeah, All yeah. One word on YouTube. Yeah. Resist, defy, do not comply. Resist, defy, do not comply. But what if we comply with your order there? Well, that's the point. You've got a good point there. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, mate.